Welcome to the next edition of Doja Tech, where we talk what? We talk all things tech. Today, we're gonna be looking at the top five, my suggestions, the top five M.2 drives for your budget bill. So, number one on the list, the PNY. We're looking at the PNY, 250 gigs, PCIe, of course, Gen 3. This is a Gen 3 M.2. Now, I put this one on the list in particular because it is 250 gigs. Sometimes we don't have the money to shell out, especially when we, you know, setting up a bill. We don't have the money to shell out for the one terabyte to two to three to four terabytes or whatever. So 250 gigs will definitely get you set up and run. You can house your Windows operating system on it so you can boot from it. You can also place a couple of games on it. Now, me personally, I really wouldn't suggest that you house your games on the same M.2 that you're booting from. But if you don't have a, a choice or whatever, then it, you know, it, it's not going to hurt your system. But I really wouldn't suggest it. Like I would always be looking forward towards a larger capacity M.2 if you want to just store games on it, make life, you know, a little bit more convenient. So we're looking at the PNY 250 gigs and it's coming in cheap at $33 and 99 cent. Number two on our list, Western Digital, the one terabyte Gen 3. Now this one I put on the list because it's coming in at $89.99, which is not gonna break the bank when you're dealing with a brand new budget build. And it's 3,500 megabits per second, which is fast. You know, you're gonna notice, especially if you're coming from a hard drive, if you've been loading your games from a hard drive and in this day and age, I don't know who is, but if you are, then you're gonna notice a definite a definite change in speed. You're gonna see a better, you know, performance. Your load times is gonna be much more faster with the speed of M.2 drive. We're looking at, once again, 3,500 megabits per second at 89.99. Number three on our list is the WD Black. Also, once again, one terabyte. Now, when I say these brands and it's one terabyte, especially if you're looking at Amazon, you can look and see if they have either higher capacities within this brand, um, higher capacity or even lower capacity. But one terabyte is what I'm suggesting, especially for a budget bill. You're just trying to get up and running. The WD Black, one terabyte. Gaming SSD solid state drive and all that good stuff. Gen 4 PCIe. So on your motherboard, you may have a Gen Gen 4 slot, especially at the top underneath the CPU. And if you do have additional M.2 M.2 bays, then you may be looking at Gen 3. So to get the best performance, you're gonna really want to check your motherboard and see what slot is which. The top slot is usually Gen 4. So if you get a Gen 4 M.2, then you're gonna wanna place it in that slot. A, a, a Gen 3, you're gonna wanna put it in the appropriate slot. So once again, this is our Gen 4 PCIe M.2, and it's coming in at a whopping 5,150 megabits per second, or rather up to 5,150 megabits per second. And the WD Black one terabyte is coming in at 104.99. Perfect for your budget bills. Now, one of the things that make M.2s so important in this day and age is that we're kind of moving from hard drives and we're moving over to solid state drives. Now, when you're looking at hard drives, you're looking at speeds of 550 megabits per second up to around 600 megabits per second. So like with the last one, the WD Black coming in at 5,150 megabits per second, it's showing you the, it, it, that shows the increase in speed. Now, another thing that makes M.2 so important is form factor. One, it's a smaller form factor than a hard drive, even some SSDs. Also, there's no SATA interface. So there's no plugs to plug in. You plug it directly into your motherboard. 
Some of the boards have slots in the back, but most of them nowadays have all the slots in the front. Coming in at number four is the Crucial. Another one terabyte NVMe PCIe M.2. This is coming in at 2,400 megabits per second. So if you wanna put your games on it, you're still gonna have a fast load time, not faster than others, but you'll be off by a couple of seconds, but you'll still have a fast load time, faster than anything else, SSD or a hard drive. The Crucial is coming in at $89.99. So once again, for our budget bills, perfect price, it's not $39.99, <laughs> it'll be better at that price, but at $89.99, it won't break the bank and can help you move along with your bill. Number five on our list, last but not least, is the Samsung 980. This is a 500 gig M.2. Straight up the gaming is coming in at $109.99. So once again, and this completes our list of the five top M.2 drives for your budget bills in 2022. So before you go off and buying these things, you're gonna to wanna to check your motherboard for all of its specifications. Make sure you have the M.2 that's the appropriate size for your motherboard, even though today is with more up-to-date motherboards is really not a problem because the M.2 M slots can handle multiple sizes but you're still going to want to check you don't want any surprises when you get home try to jam it in there and you can't get it in there so you're going to want to check the um your motherboard specifications and also the size specifications for your M.2 before you go trying to jam it in there and I hope that this list was able to help people um especially when you're building your first budget bill and it you know it can get real tricky because there's m.2s out there that's 100 and change 200 to almost 300 dollars in some cases and it can pretty much break the bank so do not be discouraged you can still get your computer up and running with just one M.2 drive with a little bit of space. You can get your windows on there. You can get your games on there. Whatever, photos, videos, pictures and stuff like that. Just pay attention to how much you're putting on it. You don't want to fill your M.2 drive all the way up, you know, because it doesn't really like that. It doesn't play well with, you know, doing that. So, and this concludes our list of the top five M.2 drives for the year 2022 for your budget bill. People, you do not have to break the bank. You don't have to go out and get the $200 and $300 M.2 drives to get your system just up and running. You can still do it with a 250 gig, a 500 gig, or a one terabyte. It still gets you up and running. Get your Windows system going on. Get a couple of games on there from Steam, Epic, whatever you're hitting up. You can do your thing. Those your tech, holla at your boy. Hit me down below. Let me know what's going on. Subscribe. Help a brother out. HBO, right? Help a brother out. Next time on Doja Tech.